Uh, hey guys, we're here with another episode of our playthrough of Pokemon Glazed. In the last episode, we explored the Esbo tree area, as I called it in the last episode. Uh, met up with Blake, did some plot stuff, and started to challenge the gym here in Southerly City. And in this episode, we are going to take on the gym leader and hopefully make some progress. But real quick, we'll go over the team we have going up against the gym. We have our level 41 Laron, who has Iron Tail, Earthquake, Headbutt, and Rock Smash. Our level 40 Infernape with Flame Wheel, Fire Blast, Mock Punch, and Strength. Our level 40 Vaporeon with Surf, Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, and Quick Attack. Our level 40 Gardevoir with Psychic, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, and Calm Mind. Our level 40 Gabite with Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Dragon Rage, and Fire Blast. And our level 41 Gengar with Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Confuse Ray, and Nightshade. So real quick, I am going to... I think we're going to... No, not... Uh, man, Pokemon's hard. Um, I'm going to lead with Vaporeon for this fight because it's Stab Surf. So, here we are, back in the gym, back again, once again, and real quick, I'm, I am going to save the game. Okay. Hello, young citizen, they call me Ernest, and I'm the gym leader around these parts. You wish to get the blaze badge? Then we must battle first. Let's go. Alright, he's going to lead with the Mag Mortar. Which is actually a little bit scary. Because Magmortar can learn Thunderbolt. But I'm honestly just going to go for a Surf and hope he doesn't have it or hope we one-shot. And he does. <laughs> That's terrific news. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Vaporeon is bulky. So he's going to heal probably with the Hyper Potion. That will probably take him back to full... But we, we get, we're going to win this war right here. So that's great. Alright, down goes the Mag Mortar. That's one of, I think I saw four down. And a Charizard. Oh, uh, huh. I think I'm going to go into... Gengar for this. Because Gengar's not going to be much help with the rest of the fight. We can hit it with some super effective Thunderbolts. So we'll go for a T-Bolt. And that does quite a bit of damage. It's going to set up a sunny day. So now a lot of his team is probably going to be able to use Solar Beam. Which sucks a little bit. <laughs> we'll go for another Thunderbolt. Down goes the Charizard. But the Sunny Day is up, so that's going to boost all of his Fire-type attacks, as well as give him some Solar Beams. He's going to send out a Typhlosion next. He has five Pokemon, even. So what I'm, I'm just going to go for a... Um, probably just a, a Shadow Ball. He's got Protect. He's going to stall out those turns of Sun, so that is fine by me. And go for a Shadow Ball again. He got the Double Protect, which is honestly the first time I've ever not been annoyed with Double Protect. Which is impressive. Doesn't happen often. Triple Protect? Oh my goodness. The Sun's going to be gone. I'm pretty sure it's gone this turn. Yeah, okay, that works. Yeah, you, I'm sorry, no quadruple protect for you. Okay, that does half damage. He's just going to keep going for protect. I mean, this is not how Typhlosion is normally used competitively, but... <laughs> Whatever works. Is he, like, trying to PP stall me out of Shadow Balls? I mean, it's not going to work. Typhlosion's down. Sun is gone. 
So I don't have to worry about a Solar Beam hitting Vaporeon. Gengar's level 42. A Blaziken. This is a perfect opportunity to try out our new Gardevoir. And just go for a Psychic. One shot. There we go. All right, this gym has been pretty good so far. He's got one more Pokemon, and it's going to be an, an Infernape. Let's just stay in and go for another Psychic. So that Blaziken was his strongest Mon. He's going to go for a Focus Punch, which isn't going to do much, even if we didn't hit this Psychic, because we do Quad Resist it. We are Psychic Fairy type. Down goes the Infernape, and that just got us our sixth gym badge, guys. We are making progress. The fires of my Pokemon's fighting spirit have been reduced to mere embers. You are truly worthy of this badge. Obtain the Blaze badge. Just Blaze! Uh, we can use Fly. And we get TM38 Fire Blast. Which, we already have one. If you're going to challenge Nicole next, you'll want to head through Espo Forest to Palm Tree Resort. Take care. So Nicole sounds like our next gym. I don't know what kind of type that is. Nicole. Maybe Nicole. And it's an ice type gym, even though we've already had one. But, um, real quick, we are going to heal up. And... For now, we are just gonna advance into back into Espo Forest and uh, head towards Palm Tree Resort. Like, what was his name? Ernest just said. All right, back into the Espo Forest. We'll throw up a repel. Uh, where are my repels? There they are. We only have six left. But hopefully we can make it through here. Just keep on advancing. Heading to Palm Tree Resort. And out we go. We are here at Palm Tree Park. Um, huh. Nobody enters or leaves Palm Tree Resort. The only way in would be flying in. Okay. I get the hint. Actually, real quick. That's uh, not a hidden item. But uh, does this dude want to fight? What are those goons in orange doing? I want to, to Nicole badge. Sorry, I forgot how to read. <laughs> okay, I want to see what we can find in this grass. There's a Vibrava, which would be cool if we didn't already have a Gabite. So what else is here? I guess we could speed up for this. Spinda is useless. Beedrill is useless, unless it mega evolves. Beedrill is still useless. More Beedrill. I'll run into two more Pokemon. An Eevee? We already have one. We can get them for free. Very easily. And a Butterfree. Useless. Alright. So, I caught the hint. I just noticed something. How long has my layout been incorrect? Not the badges, but I, I will fix that while we're here. What the hell? No. I will fix that while we're here. But how long has this said Remeber? <laughs> oh my god, I am a dork. I think it's been like that since episode 4. And this is going to be episode 18. God, I am bad at Pokemon. Remeber.
Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that! Oh, dude, there's no way. Alright, well we clearly need a flyer, so we're gonna grab Swallow out of the PC. God, that's gonna bug me for the rest of the day. Uh, what? No, stop, stop, stop! We will stack up Swallow and probably trade out for Gengar because it's really over leveled right now. So, we'll teach it fly. We'll go ahead and head in to Palm Tree Resort. We could sell one of those Fire Blast TMs too. We will teach it to swallow. And we will just on get rid of Peck. Not helping us anymore. Alright. So can we fly there from here? Swallow's a bit under leveled now. We can fly to Palm Tree Resort. Pidgeot. Henry! Eric, I'm so glad I managed to see you before... Team Fusion is about to put their plan into action. My dad, he wants to catch Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. <sighs> from what I can tell, dad will be firing a beam of electricity from his lab to Haunted Rock, Temporal Tower, and Spatial Ruins, which should awaken the trio. He tasked me with capturing Dialga. I've already contacted Blake. He's going for Giratina. Please, would you go to the Spatial Ruins and save Palkia? It's just south of the city. I, I better go. Pidgeot, use Fly. Pidgeot. And there is a gym here. Resort leader Nicole, the nerdy geologist. I want to actually. All right, it is a rock type gym. It looks like. Should we have not gone in there? I don't think we were supposed to be in there. <laughs> we are cheating. Can you not go anywhere in this place? Oh, you have to battle these assholes? Okay, well then, before we battle them, um, I think I... No. No, never mind. I was gonna say I'll put Swallow on the layout, but... So honestly, Swallow's probably not gonna be joining us for much longer. Magmortar and Electivire. Um, it's probably not gonna be joining us for much longer just because... It, um... It, it is a rock-type gym. So, it's going to be weak to it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, but I think I will go ahead and pick up um, Tangela for the gym, because that'll help us tremendously. Uh, so, uh, honestly, I don't know who we drop, though. Jirachi probably won't be a much help, because a lot of them have ground-type moves. So, we probably won't pick that up either. Galvantula is weak to rock, so we're not going to pick that up. And Swell is weak to rock, so we're not going to pick that up. Um, honestly, I kind of feel like we should be dropping Gengar right about now. Just because I feel like it's a bit high in the levels. And we've had it for a while. Um, it'd be nice to get Tangela back. We haven't used it since... Gosh... I want to say since Irene, which was a long time ago. And where is the PC in this place? Is it here? It is. That seems really impractical. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab Tangela out of the PC and trade it out for Swallow, who was traded out for Gengar. Because now that we're inside, we've infiltrated this place and I will see you guys with a brand spanking new layout so give me just one second all right guys we are back with a brand spanking new layout with Tangela on it but that is about to change because I was sick of waiting for Tangela to learn ancient power when it should have learned ancient power already so I decided to look up how Tangela evolves in Pokemon Glaze, and it is not by level up with Ancient Power. It is, in fact, going to evolve at level 64 
Alternatively, we can use a trade stone or a sunstone, which I went ahead and went to the the mall or the department store in Sea Spray Town and go ahead and bought one of these. So we're gonna get ourselves an evolved Tangela, which is awesome because Tangela has been with us since episode four, and it's finally gonna be evolving, and I'm very excited. And we got a Tangrowth. We got Spaghetti. Alright guys, I will be back once again with a brand spanking new layout showing off our new Tangrowth. Be back in just a second. Alright guys, we are back with our new Tangrowth on the layout. I am what I'm going to do real quick is throw it up front. And check out its new stats. Um... Special attack and defense are pretty much the same. Or, what the hell? Never mind. It's awesome. We have a Tangrowth now. Which is awesome. So we can now head down here to Sunshore Beach. And. Hey, I caught something really powerful. Let me show you. Well, since you're a fisherman, you probably have a few water types. And there ain't, they ain't shit. <laughs> He's got a. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh my god, no, not Splash! Okay, you know what? He's got six Pokemon. They're probably all gonna be Magikarp. I ain't got time for that. Stop that, I'm sorry. Alright, last magic card. Boy, that dude was really powerful and tough to beat. Alright, um, there's one more over here I saw. Just sitting here fishing, why don't we battle? Rember. God, I can't believe I did that. What has happened in this episode? Ooh, he's got a Milotic, which is actually pretty cool. Hopefully he doesn't have Ice Beam. Oh, really? Ha! Ah, tricked ya! <laughs> Got him. Hey man, it's a really nice Pokemon. You know, it's free Pokemon. It's probably gonna be a Magikarp. So, might as well. It's free. We'll just go ahead and uh, party Gardevoir, I guess. Our collection is getting to be pretty nice, which is exciting. Okay, let's buy this from him. I don't even know what to say. That's so cool. Dude. <laughs> we got a shiny magic card. Which is freaking amazing. You know what? I might consider that. I might consider using it ever so occasionally. If it ever comes up to a situation where we could use one, I would love to. 
But I want to wait till we get maybe the HM for like Waterfall or something decent for it. Or for Gyarados at least. So that's pretty exciting. I think in the meantime we will just explore what is out here, the Spatial Sea. Um, I think I'll take on these guys in the next episode. I think this episode's been going on long enough. So anyways, guys, I really do hope you did enjoy today's episode. A lot happened. I probably don't even know what I'm going to title this episode, whether it be Rember or finally a Tangrowth or a uh, freaking shiny Magikarp. Oh, my gosh. So anyways, guys, I really do hope you did enjoy today's episode. Um, if you want to see more content from me, a like and a subscription would be very much appreciated. Of course, we have our playthrough of Pokemon Glaze, which goes up around four or five times a week, as well as our GPSL Draft League format battles on Showdown. We battle a new person every week, so that'll be exciting. I really did hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, and I will see you in the next one. Later.